yo what's going on guys i'm back here with a, another statutor video and in today's video i'm going to be teaching you guys how to make a leather face i guess from a thriller movie or from the movies i guess so i i know someone suggested this i'm not sure who exactly but i thought i'd make this just for a non-anime week video just to switch things up the non-anime week videos are supposed to be like just random i guess of course it's not anime week but anyways i thought i'd make it i haven't seen anyone made this on youtube yet or as a statue i guess so um yeah i thought i'd do this at, to be the first i guess well not that i've seen them i might be wrong but anyways if you guys enjoy this week's video or if you guys haven't already leave a like subscribe and put on notifications and i'll see you guys in the rest of the video the blocks you're gonna be needing will be down in the description of this video but i will also say them right now which is black concrete blue concrete red concrete ochre planks spruce wood planks mushroom white concrete like concrete blue wool then we have gray terracotta light gray terracotta block of netherite a lot of blocks you need for this tutorial kind of and this is the first day of the new cave update or something like that whatever it's called the 1.17 update the part one of it so uh, yeah not that many new blocks in my opinion well, just these anyways what you're gonna want to do for the first row as i almost lost my train of thought just place eight blocks of black concrete to start off the first row of the statue the next row is just eight blocks of black concrete again the next two rows are just blue concrete. The next row is one blue concrete, one spruce wood plank, one blue concrete, one spruce wood plank, one blue concrete, one spruce wood plank, one blue concrete, one spruce wood plank. The next row is one spruce wood plank, one oak wood plank, one spruce wood plank, two oak wood planks, one spruce wood plank, one oak wood plank, one spruce wood plank. The next row is one spruce wood plank, one oak wood plank, one spruce wood plank, two oak wood planks, one spruce wood plank, one red concrete, one spruce wood plank. The next row is one spruce wood plank, two red concrete, two oak wood planks, two red concrete, one spruce wood plank. The next row is one spruce wood plank, one oak wood plank. Two red concrete, one oak plank, one spruce plank, one oak plank, one spruce plank. And as you guys can see, starting to see a little pattern here. If you guys couldn't tell already, like so, or mostly like from this row, since there's nothing on the first row where we started it off with the spruce and oak wood plank pattern that I was gonna say. Anyways, the next row is one spruce plank, one oak plank one red concrete, two oak planks, one spruce plank, one oak plank, one spruce plank. The next row is one red concrete, one oak plank, one spruce plank, two oak wood planks, one red concrete, one oak plank, one spruce plank. The next row is one spruce plank, one oak wood plank, one spruce wood plank, two oak planks, two red concrete, one spruce plank. And that is the last and final row for the legs. If you guys want to pause the video. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do, place one spruce plank on each end, then place four mushroom blocks. This applies for both sides, of course. This is for the arms. You guys can use white terracotta, it doesn't really matter to me. Just thought I'd use mushroom, I never do, but I kind of like it for this build in particular well only on this build but yeah because mushroom is not really that used or not really used that often but anyways the next block is one oak plank one red concrete three oak planks and one red concrete the next row is three oak planks one red concrete four oak planks the next row is five oak planks one red concrete, two oak planks. The next row is 
one oak plank, one red concrete. And then we got six oak planks. Yep. The next row is one oak plank, one red concrete, one oak plank, one red concrete, two oak planks, one red concrete, one oak plank. The next row is I believe it's six oak planks, three, four, five, six, yep, one red concrete, one oak plank. The next row is one oak plank, one red concrete, one oak plank, two blue wool, three oak planks. The next row is one oak plank, two red concrete, two blue wool, three oak planks. The next row is three oak planks, two blue wool, three oak planks. The next row is one light gray concrete, one oak plank, one light gray concrete, two blue wool, one light gray concrete, one oak plank, one light gray concrete. The next row is exactly the same thing, so we'll do that one more time, one more time for the next row. The next row is one light gray concrete, one oak plank, one light gray concrete, or one blue, one blue wool, my bad. I don't know why I said that. Then you place two white concrete, one blue wool, one oak plank, one lake of concrete. That is it for the body. Pause the video, pause the video if you guys need to. I'll back up in a second here. I messed up at the end right there, so my bad. Anyways. Like I said, pause the video if you guys need to. Then I will be moving on to the arms right now. Alright, so... Now what you're going to want to do... You place four rows, or starting off on the left side of the arm, place four rows of mushroom. Three, four. Total of five, if you count the first row. Three, four, five, yep. Fill it in. Then you place one row of liquid concrete. Then you place one liquid concrete. One white concrete, one lake of concrete, one white concrete. Then you're going to want to do this five more times. So one, two, three, four, five, including the first row, the first row that we did. So total of six, I guess. You want to count that. All right. And you're going to want to mirror that on the other on the other side of the arm. So you place four rows of mushroom. Two, three, four. One row of lake of concrete. From left to right. White concrete, one like of concrete, white concrete, one like of concrete. Do this five more times. Three, four, five. Alrighty. Now I'm going to back up. Then I will be moving on to the back side of the statue. So pause the video if you guys need to right now. Alright, so now what you're going to want to do, go and head on over to the back side of the statue at the very bottom where the legs are, where we started on the back side. Go back by three, come towards you with the black concrete. As you guys see, we fill in the outline. There should be six block gap filled in with black concrete. From starting out on the back side, just place one row of black concrete. Then you place ten rows of blue concrete. The back side is the easiest part of the statue, so it won't take too long. The majority of the video, I feel like, or most of the time spent on the video, will probably be for the head. That's going to be the most difficult part to do and explain. So yeah. Anyways, pause the video if you guys need to. to the side of the legs, however, exact same thing. One row of black concrete, ten rows of blue concrete. This applies for both sides of the legs. Because this is an apron. It's only showing on the front side. So yeah. That's why it's not. there's not anything on the side. Anyways, one row of black concrete, ten rows of blue concrete, like I said. Alrighty. Guys, you guys can pause the video if you guys need to. Anyways, now what you're going to want to do with the mushroom block. What you're going to want to do, place three blocks of mushroom coming towards you like so four times. So this is three and four. This applies for both sides of the arm. So one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. This is four times. The arms are a four by four, as you guys can see at the bottom. Anyways, the arms are fairly simple. Just place four rows of mushroom. Total five, you count the bottom row, of course. Place one row of like concrete. Then you place from left to right one white concrete, one like concrete, one white concrete, one like concrete. The pattern is a little bit different. You guys can see it's kind of opposite, of course, from back to front. You guys can see. It's a little switched up, I guess, a bit. 
Anyways, you're gonna want, you're gonna want to do this five more times. So a total of six times if you count the bottom row, or the first time that we did it. Like so, total six is the S and C. And you're gonna want to mirror that on the other side as well, the other arm. So four rows of mushroom, one row of liquid concrete. From left to right, one liquid concrete, one white concrete, one liquid concrete, one white concrete. Do this five more times. My controller has some stick drift or whatever. It's moving too much or sliding too much. Kind of annoying. I don't know. This controller is not even old. Anyways, unless it's just the game, I don't know. But anyways, pause the video if you guys need to right now. Go to the side of the arm. What you're going to do, place a full rows of mushroom. Oh, I don't know why I did that. I pressed the pick block. Anyways, place four rows of mushroom, that's weird. Then you place one row of like a concrete. Then you place one white concrete, one like a concrete, and you're gonna wanna do that five more times. Alrighty, pause the video if you guys need to. Go to the other side of the arm. So it's four rows of mushroom. Place one, or not one, yeah, one row of like a concrete. Then you place one like a concrete, one white concrete, and do this five more times. And go to the top of the statue. This is what I like to call the shoulder of the statue. Kind of like what we did at the bottom. It's a 4x4. Four four. The shoulder is also a 4x4. Four four. It's going to be a checkered pattern. So just place one white concrete, one like a concrete, one white concrete. And then do the opposite. Like so. So as you guys see, it's a 4x4. Four four. The shoulder is what I like to call it. It is a checkered pattern if you guys look at it that way do this on the other side as well alrighty and then we gotta do the back of the statue then we gotta do the head so the back of the statue is very simple as well you place one row of like concrete then you place one like concrete one white concrete one like concrete two white concrete one like concrete one white concrete one like concrete then you're gonna want to do this three more times I believe total four rows. Well, if you count not the bottom row, of course. So total four right here. Yep. Anyways, the next row is just oak planks, so just one row. The next two rows, you're just gonna do one like of concrete, one white concrete, one like of concrete, two white concrete, one like of concrete, one white concrete, one like of concrete. So do this two times. Well, total of two. So. Anyways, the next row is one oak plank, one white concrete, one like of concrete, two oak, not two, two white concrete, I don't know why I said that, one like of concrete, one white concrete, one oak plank. The next, the next row is one like of concrete, one oak plank, one like of concrete, two white concrete, one like of concrete, one oak plank, one like of concrete. And you're going to want to do this two more times to finish off the back side. Pause the video if you guys need to. And then I will do the head for the statue to finish off the remainder of the tutorial. So yeah, pause the video if you guys need to right now. Now what you're going to want to do, head on over to the front side of the statue. There should have been a block gap at the very top. The blocks you no longer need are blue concrete, white concrete, liquid concrete, and blue wool. A block I did forget to mention in the beginning of the video is white terracotta. Well, that's kind of optional. I'll explain in a second. So, anyways, go to the top right here of the statue. This counts as one block, so count by five, starting off on this like a concrete here on the left-hand side. On the fifth block, place one white terracotta. Do this on the other side as well. On the fifth block, you're just going to leave alone the four-block gap. Just leave it alone. You just You don't place it on any of these right here. Anyways. Go out by one with the white terracotta, then place one oak plank. Do that on the other side as well. Then you're going to want to fill the six black gap in with oak plank, or with oak planks for the first row. Second row, you place one spruce plank on each end, fill the four black gap in with oak planks. Then go to the back side, place five blocks of gray terracotta coming towards you like so. Should be two blocks of gray terracotta hanging out from the back. Fill in the six block gap in with, of course, the gray terracotta for both of the rows. Now, the white terracotta is kind of optional. 
you guys could play some mushroom instead, but I decided just to add a white terracotta just for the head, I guess, because his his hands are I don't know dirtier, I guess. I don't know. And I thought it just looks nicer with the mushroom instead of white terracotta. And I don't know. Just preference, I guess. It's kind of a poor explanation, but just whatever, I guess. Anyways, I'm going to get rid of the mushroom block and just use a white terracotta for later on. Anyways. The next row for the head, you place one spruce plank, two oak planks, leave a two block gap, place two oak planks, one spruce plank. Then you place two blocks of legger terracotta behind the two block gap. The next row is just eight blocks of oak planks. Now, as you guys see, kind of like a 3D effect, the mouth is inwards. Anyways, the next row is one oak plank, leave a two black gap, two oak planks, leave a two black gap, one oak plank. Then place one block of netherite behind it, and place one block, or one block of black concrete. Then do this on the other side of the two black gap. His eyes, you can't really see sometimes, it's kind of like dark, where the eye is, or his eye sockets are in the mask, or whatever it's called. But uh, sometimes you kind of could see them, I guess, I'm not really too sure, but just to make it look like he has some eyes somewhat, I guess, I just decided to add the block of another right. But if you guys want to make a black concrete, go ahead. But it just, it just looks a little weird. I don't know. Doesn't look too bad once it's finished, so bear with me. Wait for the end product. <laughs> Anyways, the next row place four blocks of oak planks. One spruce plank, three oak planks. The next row is one oak plank, one red concrete, one oak plank, one spruce plank, one oak plank, one spruce plank, two oak planks. The next row is one gray terracotta. One oak plank, one red concrete, two gray terracotta, two oak planks, one gray terracotta. The next row is just a box of gray terracotta. And that is it for the front side of the statue for now. The head should be an 8x8 at the end of this. So I'm going to be adding the 3D effects for the hair at the end of the video. So bear with me. I'm just going to do the extra stuff real quick. Anyways, on the side of the head, you place two blocks of white terracotta, then you place five blocks of gray terracotta. The next row is one white terracotta, six gray terracotta, and the next five rows are just gray terracotta. Like so. And the other side of the head exactly is exactly the same thing. So just mirror it, like so. I would speed this part up, but uh, I'm just going to do it with you guys. Alrighty, the, I guess the, or let me explain this real quick, and the back of the head and the top of the head is just great to cut as well. I guess the, as I was saying, the hair, or the 3D parts for the hair is probably like the hardest part, I guess, I don't know. Well, the head is, I guess, the hardest part of the statue, or just takes a little bit. I guess it's not hard, but just gotta add a few blocks to make it look 3D, or the hair 3D, but anyways, this is the head, or the, I guess the structure of it done, the outline, not really an outline, but now we got to add the hair, so pause the video if you guys need to before I do that, so the only block you're going to be needing before I move on to that, just the great terracotta, the rusty blocks you no longer need, and yeah, if you guys want to pause the video, go ahead, you guys need to right now, alright, so now what you're going to want to do, on the front side, wherever the gray terracotta is, bring it out by one besides the corner blocks at the very top. So bring it out by one besides the corner block. Alrighty, that is the front side. Basically done. Now we gotta do the sides, the back, and the top of the head. Anyways, go on to the right side of the head. This part will be a little bit complicated. So what you're gonna want to do on the second row not on the white terracotta, but on the first block right here of this gray terracotta, place four blocks going back, like so, so four blocks. Then you place on this third row right here, on the third block, on the third row, place four blocks of gray terracotta, 
like so. On the fourth row, going up by one, on the fourth block, starting over here, place four blocks as well, like so. Anyways, the next row, which is the fifth row, yep, starting out on the third block of the fifth row, place six blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep. On the sixth row, starting now on the first block right here, on top of the ochre plank, go back by six, three, four, five, six, leave a one block gap, then you place one. On the seventh row, on the third block, starting now right here, place five blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five, yep. On the eighth and final row, start now on the fifth block. Three, four, wait, let me make sure. Three, four, five, yep. Place one, leave a one block gap, place one. Simple as that. Hopefully that explanation wasn't too hard. At first, I was trying to think of a easier way to explain it, and then uh, gradually uh, I was explaining it. I was the whole time, I guess, like a pattern. I guess, I don't know, if that makes sense, like saying it on a certain row and on a certain block of that row, that makes sense, anyways, it is exactly the same thing on the other side, so if you guys want to do that real quick, but I will still go with you guys, if you guys are still struggling, so on the second row, you don't place anything on the first row, starting out on the second row, on the fourth block, starting out right here, place four blocks going back, on the third row, on the third block, place four blocks. So one, two, three, four. On the fourth row, start now on the fourth block, go back by four. All right. On the fifth row, place, or start on the fifth row, yeah. On the third block, if I can talk, I was trying to think real quick. Anyways, go back by six blocks. Yep. I almost got confused there, so sorry about that. On the sixth row, I believe, yep. I think I said fifth, so yeah. Anyways, on the first block of the sixth row, go back by five, three, four, five, leave a one block gap, and then you place one block. I believe so, yeah. On the seventh row, on the third block, go back by five, one, two, three, four, five, yep. Then on the eighth row, on the fifth block, yep, place one, leave a one block gap, place one. Alrighty, I believe this is, is this right? Oh, I forgot to place this one block right here. It's two blocks right here, and then it's three over here. Alrighty, so you place... One block right here, and I think it's good. Or no. Where did I mess up? I know I mess up somewhere. Right. Oh, so literally just the one block right here. I placed it one, one extra, not one extra, I just placed it to the right instead of to the left. That was really all I messed up, I guess, so. Not that big of a deal, doesn't really matter. But anyways... If you guys want to pause the video, go ahead. Anyways, sorry, I got more confused on the left side than the right side. The back of the head, which you can do on the second row, on the second block, place two, leave one black gap, place one, leave one black gap, place one. The third row, start now on the third block, place six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. The fourth row. So now on the fourth block, place one and go back by four. Total of five, basically. Should I just said go back by five? Anyways, the next row, you place one on the second block of the, let me make sure, three, four, five, yep, just so you guys don't get confused. So on the fifth row, on the second block, go back by five. So this is already one, so one, two, three, four, five. Anyways, the next row, which is the sixth row, place one block on the third block of the sixth row and go back by 
five, I believe. One, two, three, four, five. Yep. The next row, or the seventh row, you place one block on the second block of the seventh row. Place two, leave a two block gap. You place three. The eighth row, you place a second block, or you place a block on the second block of the eighth row. I don't know why I said it like that. Leave a four block gap and place one block. That is it for the back side of the statue, or the back of the head, I mean. And the top of the head are ready. So what you're going to want to do, on not on the 3D part, not on the 3D part of the hair, you place it on the first row of the head. That makes sense. You place one block, leave a one block gap, place two blocks, leave a one block gap, place one block. You don't place it on the corner block right here. It's just on the six blocks right here. Anyways, the next row, you place one block on the edge, I guess, right here. Leave a one block gap, place two. Leave a one block gap, place three. The third row, you place, or you leave a one block gap, then you place one. Leave a two block gap, place one. Leave a one block gap, place one, and you leave this one block gap. The fourth row, leave another one block gap, place two. Leave a one block gap, place three, and leave this one block gap. The fifth row, oh, you leave a, another one block gap, you place one. Leave a one block gap, place two. Leave a one block gap, place one. And you leave this one black gap. The sixth row, I almost lost count there. You leave a one black gap, place two. Leave a one black gap, place two. Leave a one black gap, place one. The seventh row, you place one block. Leave a one black gap, place one. Leave a two black gap, place one. And leave these two blocks here, or that two black gap. I'll back up real quick. If you guys want to pause the video, pause the video I can talk. And we got to do the final row, the top of the head. You place one block, leave a one block gap, or two, my bad. Then you place one block, leave a one block gap, and you place one, and you leave these two blocks. And that is it for the head, or the top of the head. And that is going to be it on how to make leather face already from the movies, I guess. Is it a horror movie or a thriller movie? Uh, yeah, who cares? I don't even. <laughs> Just glad I'm done with the tutorial. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys haven't already, if you guys enjoyed this week's video, of course, leave a like, subscribe, and put on post notifications. If you guys haven't already, sorry about uh, getting a little bit confused there at the end, or with the head. But uh, yeah, my apologies. And sorry about not uploading as much. I actually did apply for a job, so if I don't upload that much, uh, I blame it on that, so, yeah. But anyways, guys, if I get the job, anyways, I'll see you guys next week, or not guaranteed next week. I'll see you guys soon. Peace.